Giveaways. You've probably heard about them. Giveaway. 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 I know I have. I've even participated in some. Now, the problem is that these giveaways, they tend to be extremely unfair. And I don't mean the YouTube giveaways. Where they say, like, follow on Twitter. Don't like my latest Instagram. Leave a comment. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the referral giveaways. So basically, when you sign up to one of these giveaways, they tell you to do a bunch of stuff to get points. For example, follow me, you get 50 points. Follow my TikTok, you get 50 points. Instagram, whatever. Then the more points you have, the higher the chance you have of winning the giveaway. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But, oh, what's this? Referral. So if you send this link to a friend and they open it and sign up, you get points for it. And it's a lot more points than you would get from doing any of the other things. Like, look at this. He has 50,000 points. They have so much more than everyone else because they know people. They do referrals. And that's just not fair for everyone. So I had an idea. What if I cheated? Now you might ask yourself, how do you actually cheat at one of these contests? Basically, when you open these things, it asks you for your name and an email address. And then when you sign up using that, it's going to send you an email to that email address. And once you verify it using that link, it gives you the points. And now you're probably thinking, wait, wouldn't cheating mean that I need to have thousands of mail addresses to just open the referral links for me? Well, yes, but actually no. All an email actually is, is a website, otherwise called a domain, separated by an at sign and then the actual email address. So if I were to, for example, buy a domain like keyambrosia.com, every single possible email combination under that domain is mine. So then all I have to do is just register a bunch of these which means that all I have to do is register a ton of these referral accounts under this email address and then use a program to read that email, click on the verification link, and then I have infinite points. So yeah, that's the plan. Now it's time to actually do it. So the first part of this bot, the one that creates all of the accounts with the referral link, wasn't actually very difficult to do. Actually, none of this is very difficult to do. Or is it? I have to create a bunch of accounts and then reverse engineer what's actually happening behind the scenes as I do. And once that's done, I'll have a program that I can just run that will create random information using my referral link. Okay, so now if I go to my email, there it is! So now all that's left is to create the software that's going to actually receive all of these emails and then open this specific link which is going to give me the points. Hello, it has been a few days that I completed the program that lets me automatically read any content from a mail that gets sent to my specific domain. And by modifying that code a bit, which by the way is available on GitHub, after a little bit of regex magic, which basically means finding text in a little bit of a special way, I'm able to automatically find the verification link for any account and then open that verification link. Which means that now if I were to create a brand new account using the verification link, it's going to automatically verify the account using the mail server and I get the points for it. So now it's time to create a new account, call it Kian, and then let the account generator go brrrr. And there you go. It took a while, which goes to show just how rigged this is, because even while cheating, it took a long time. But finally, after a long time, I beat Scotty. But am I satisfied? No. I don't want just first place. I want the entire leaderboard. So I'm gonna do it again. I created a bunch of copies of the Kian account, Kian 2, 3, 4, 5. And after a couple of minutes, which was actually around an hour, the entire top spot leaderboard is officially mine. Now at this point, am I satisfied? Well, no. <laughs> just breaking a single contest isn't really enough to get anything to happen. So I'm thinking, what if I more contests. And what better place to find unfair contests than Twitter? Ah, it's always Twitter. So I went on Twitter and looked for more of these contests, which wasn't very difficult because there's a lot of these, which is very unfortunate for them. Hey, it's repetitive at this point. I created a bunch of accounts, got all of the leaderboards with my accounts, and yeah, now I have the top leaderboards on like four different giveaways. Is there a moral to this story? Well, no, I just like breaking stuff. 